ekstrodat cili. Famously known as lobster claw hand or split hand malformation, individuals with this disorder have a cleft where the middle of the finger or two should be. This genetic malfunction generally happens when there are some deletions, translocation, and inversions in chromosome 7. Proteus syndrome. Proteus syndrome is a rare genetic disorder in which bone, skin, and other tissues are overgrown. The disorder results from a mutation in a gene called AKT1, which controls cell growth. In this disorder, some of the cells grow and some don't. This difference in the sizes of cells causes the overgrowth. Polymelia Polymelia is a birth defect in which the affected individual has more than the usual number of limbs. This deformity is generally said to be the result of a partially absorbed conjoined twin. The defect can also be found in animals. Neurofibromatosis The exact cause of this genetic disorder is not known. In this disease, the skin of the patient starts getting thick and lumpy and a bony lump grows on the patient's forehead. The doctor suggested that the disorder is a combination of several diseases such as neurofibromatosis type 1 and proteus syndrome. Diprosopus Also known as craniofacial duplication, diprosopus is an extremely rare hereditary disorder in which parts or all of the face are duplicated. This anomaly is the result of abnormal activity by the protein named SHH or sonic hedgehog. Unencephaly. No, there ain't no stopping us. 
fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I've been moving fast. And encephaly is the absence of a major portion of the brain, skull, and scalp that occurs during embryonic development. However, it is widely accepted fact that children born with this disorder only lack the largest part of the brains, consisting mainly of the cerebral hemispheres. Fit facing backwards. Wang Fang, a young woman from China, was born with this rare disorder which caused her feet to grow backwards. When she was born, it was feared that she wouldn't be able to walk properly, but she has been as normal as any other human being.